Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Hello. So apologies, we were meant to bring out the camera with us this morning, mm. um, but we were in a bit of a rush and we forgot the camera. But also I got a bit nervous about bringing the camera. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, we went to uh, Moss Bros. Yeah. And we went to try and narrow it down in terms of what suit I want and yeah. what I want for the groomsmen and uh, we were in there for a while. I think we it was, were in there a, for it was quite only a meant to be a twenty minute appointment, but the, the guy spent ages with us. I think we were in there for about an hour. Bless him, he was running up and down the stairs and yeah, getting all trying sorts on different loads things. of different suits. I was hoping to get a few little clips, but we did forget the camera and also I didn't want to like be too yeah. in in your in your face and also in the guy's face because it was just us well, in, uh, in the room. And I was already a bit nervy. Yeah. Because I just didn't really know what I was after, and then I get, <laughs> I get nervous about saying, "Oh, I'm, I don't like this one." <laughs> but I was, okay. um, but I was there as well, so I was kind of your, um, your what your mind. Yeah, I you, said to him. Yeah, yeah, you knew what I was, what I was referring to. <laughs> but he was so helpful, and it really gave you like a good, um, yeah, a might good be. look at like what what you're edging towards now and it's actually a little bit different than what you initially thought which is interesting so that's good yeah yeah i mean i haven't really had a definitive no sort of idea in my head i feel like suits are difficult but we had some really nice combinations really lovely combinations of colors yeah and different waistcoats and ties and like if you were going to be the same as your groomsman or if you're going to be slightly different like we discussed all of that we took we took photos and yeah noted things down noted sizes uh, so we're just gonna have we're gonna think about it you're gonna kind of come to a decision ponder crunch then, some numbers as they say yeah crunch some numbers as well <laughs> and then probably over the next couple of weeks we'll make a final decision it depends if you want to go anywhere else we might have a look and and see but you might get a bit overwhelmed i've looked at so many places like not having gone to anywhere but yeah i've looked at so many websites and and they were really <laughs> really lovely options today yeah they were and then i got a library card as well um it arrived i think last week um mm -hmm. because the library's reopened so i popped into the library and i'll quickly show you what books i picked up it was actually really nice to go to the library i actually haven't been to a library in years and it was just really nice to have a little browse and they had i can't remember what it was but for some reason they were giving away new books for free which was so kind so i picked up uh death on the nile agatha christie which is soon to be a major film um i'm not sure if it is a major i don't know how old this book is it oh, might it's been made in the tv series also oh has it been made into a film yet uh, I imagine so, most of Agatha Christie's ah. I've actually never read any Agatha Christie, so gonna give this a read. But yeah, they were giving it away for free and it's brand new. And then what was so exciting is they were giving away this book, which is one of my favourite books. I highly recommend anyone to read this. And I actually listened to the audiobook, which was narrated by Carrie Mulligan. Um, so when I saw they were giving this book away for free, I was so um, taken aback because I really wanted a paper copy of it and now I have it. And it's The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and honestly, it is such a good book. It's not that long, um, but it's, oh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, I'll read the blurb um, for anyone that's interested it says Nora's life has been going from bad to worse then at the stroke of midnight on her last day on earth she finds herself transported to a library there she is given the chance to undo her regrets and try out each of the other lives she might have lived which raises the ultimate question which infinite choices what is the best way to live oh it, honestly if you haven't read this book I'm sure a lot of you have um because it's very very popular but yeah i was i was so surprised that they were giving this away yay <laughs> and then i also picked up because i've heard such good things about this um girl woman other so i have taken this out on loan and um, it's a really nice it's like the hardback version as well 
um, and I've heard really good things about this. And actually, when I was in there, the um, librarian said that it was really, really good. So I'm very excited to read this. And then ages ago, I, I don't know if you remember on the vlogs, I was raving about the new TV series called Firefly Lane on Netflix. And at the time, the libraries were closed, but I reserved it. And I think I reserved it like a good few months ago, but it was still reserved by the time I got there today, which is really, really good. But I got Firefly Lane, which is the book that the TV series was based on. So I'm really excited to watch this because I loved the TV series. And of course, uh, with the book, there's probably so much more detail that they couldn't fit into the TV series. And also, I think it was only half of the book because it ended on a cliffhanger. So I'm excited to read the other half um, and see what happens to the characters. Very excited to read all of them. They got a meal deal. <laughs> I don't know why I've stacked it like I'm at a cafe. <laughs> but look at these crisps. Walker's Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC crisps. So we've just filmed our latest reacting to a Walt Disney World vlog. We reacted to our Epcot vlogs and it was so lovely. And it was the first time that we've seen Illuminations and it just brought back all the memories. Um, so I think that will be out on Thursday when you're watching this. But I was gonna go get myself a little bit of a treat because I was gonna choose one of these Cadbury's treats. Um, very, very kindly um, in our PO box we received a lovely parcel from Chloe, Karen and George all the way from Wales and they sent so many lovely Welsh treats. So I thought I'd quickly show them some Welsh cakes which we haven't had yet um, but they are best served warm we've heard so we're gonna have them soon. Um, I remember Martin loved these before. Some shortbread we've already tucked into them and then also this fruit cake and then what was very exciting as well this was filled with Cadbury's treats as you can see we have eaten quite a few um, but we still have a few left so I think I'm gonna treat myself to one of them now and then also they sent two of these Welsh mug and coaster sets which we love. So thank you so much, Chloe, Karen and George. We weren't expecting it at all. And yeah, just so many treats. Sorry, the battery ran out, but I was just showing you these prints. So she sent two of these beautiful prints. One was of Sleeping Beauty's Castle in Disneyland Paris. So pretty. And then the other is donuts. This one makes me hungry, <laughs> but they are so pretty. Um, so a huge thank you, Lydia. And I will of course pop her shop in the description box if you wanna check it out because she does some amazing Disney artwork. Also, I just remembered that she gave us a discount code for you all. So if you use the code PIXIEDUST10 for 10% off. Um, so I'll pop that in the description box as well. Um, so if you get anything, make sure you use our discount code. So the next task, we've gone on to Moss Bros and we're gonna do some number crunching. Yay! On potential suits. I've sent the one that we looked at, or the two different ones that we looked at, to like people who are gonna be there. Mm -hmm. And they've lacked it so far, so. so. That's good, that's good. But if you, um, we probably won't show you the suits because we kind of want it to be a surprise, don't mm -hmm. we? Um, but they have so many, as you can see. And then these are ones so you can buy, but ones. they also have a higher option as well. Yeah, but we wrote down, um, the guy in the shop gave us like all the numbers for what one Martin tried on, so and we then should be able to find it. With the higher, it was buy five suits, get one, one free. free. Or yeah. four suits, buy four suits, get one free. Get one free, then yeah. get one free. Yeah. Or higher. Or higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. <laughs> so we've just been having a good old look at all the suit options and just working it all out, pricing it all up, and also like how many people are gonna be in the suits and all that kind of stuff. So that was, that took us a while actually, <laughs> a bit longer than we thought, but we think we're gonna go out for a nice walk now. It's still nice and um, sunny outside, so might as well take advantage of the sunshine and go for a nice little walk. 
so I've just popped on my new cardigan if you watched um, I think it was the last vlog I got this when I went shopping and look Martin Bell is doing some swatting yo ho yo ho <laughs> a pirate fact for you here we go oh, have you got one here's the first one Ooh. okay so this is about so it's Pirates of the Caribbean but it's Disneyland Paris so if you remember that uh, as you head in you've got like the the tower and then loads of plants around so uh, looking at the impressive facade of this attraction you might notice several things about the intimidating tower windows that make it look like a skull the jolly roger pirate flag flying high cannons ready to defend it and of course markings on the walls leave no doubt about the building's turbulent past i never noticed stuff i was about to say things. i've never noticed half of them <laughs> we'll have to look at that we'll have to remember that and have a look when we're next in uh disneyland paris uh and then just about uh as you're in the outdoor queue uh the landscaping team sought to imitate the rich vegetation of the Caribbean as closely as possible oh. with an array of spectacular plants that would thrive in the local climate such as Chinese windmill palms and fern trees to have flowers all year round just like the Caribbean Oh, I didn't notice that either mm. There's going to be lots we're going to look out for And I didn't that's your that, pirate though, about fact the... R. No! <laughs> goes, yo ho, yo, yo ho, ho, a pirate fact, fact for you. you. Okay. <laughs> R. <laughs> so we were just chatting because we couldn't think of what it looked like, but this building is there. It's like behind it. But I've never looked at it properly to like notice that it is a fortress. Yeah. Like, I don't think I've ever looked up. I've, it's because you're just taking the Pirates of yeah. sign. Hang on, if you bear with me. I've got like where they so this yeah oh this is yeah it. that's it that's like the model design of so it. that's where you walk in yeah. and then there's all this stuff up here and then this massive fortress <laughs> and here so and like then, next time i'm gonna have to have a proper look and then i found just a quick uh picture i want to go back through our vlogs and they're like there's there's the pirates of caribbean yeah and then there's the fortress behind it that's crazy with the jolly roger and I don't stuff don't remember that at all cracks in the fort <laughs> It's really misleading because the sun's out, but it's really cold. <laughs> Our hands are cold. <laughs> I put, um, what's that from? My hands are cold. Uh, I don't know. That, that's, that's something about that screaming out My Disney for some reason. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I decided that I was going to wear shorts. It was <laughs> the wrong decision to make. Yeah, when you're in the sun, it's fine. <laughs> but it's getting on a bit later now, so yeah. the sun is going in. Right, which way? This way. This way. Helen has taken me on a new route. A little route, a little walking route. We've been walking for quite a while now, so <laughs> I think we're going to start heading back. Oh, it was a cricket pitch. <laughs> in the kitchen and I'm cooking our gusto and today we're going to go for the extra special bangers and mash. I thought I'd go for this because it's a Sunday and it's almost like a Sunday dinner type thing. 
<laughs> I remember me and Helga said that we were going to try every Sunday to have a proper Sunday dinner. I think we said that. When did we say that? Let me go and check. <laughs> when did we say we were going to have a Sunday dinner every week? It was after Christmas, wasn't it? It was when we had Christmas. And then we did it again. We did it again, and I was like, oh, this is and really nice, this. And then that ended. <laughs> <laughs> I do love a Sunday dinner, though. It's just we haven't got that much uh, room in our freezer for stuff, so if we get anything, um, like roast potatoes and stuff like that, then we haven't got any room for them. But I'm just cooking this, and oh, I love bangers and mash. I've been on the phone with my mum, and uh, she's really excited about uh, the progress with the suits. And then I've been watching, because the other day, was it yesterday? I watched a documentary on Netflix, and it was all about Queen and Adam Lambert, because Adam Lambert is the one that goes around now uh, and, and performs lead vocals for Queen when they go on tours. And it was just, it was a documentary about how they coped after the death of Freddie Mercury and then uh, stuff they did with other artists and then how they stumbled on Adam Lambert and it, it was really really good I really enjoyed it but now it's like reignited my love of Queen not that I went anywhere I always love uh, Queen's music but I'm currently watching Queen live at, uh, live at the ball Milton Keynes and it's also special this because I remember getting my dad the DVD uh, for a birthday once so yeah cooking away and this should hopefully be ready soon. Not presented the best, <laughs> but there it is. A mound of mash. I've done that thing again where it's really late and I haven't done the dishes. And also forgot to update the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> the sausage and mash was lovely. It was lovely. Enjoyed the ice a topping. <laughs> I um, had a bath and then gonna go read my book. My new library book. The new library book. Should I join? Yeah. Should I should I grab a book as well? Are you gonna read next to me? And read. <laughs> you I've got read. I know I've got loads of books on the bookshelf that I haven't read. I might read what one? I think I'm gonna read the Jim Ross one. He was a wrestling oh he still is. Wrestling commentator. Autobiography. You prefer autobiographies, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I've read more autobiographies. Oh, I've had to put my uh, my comic books on hold. Why? Well, just because of things that were paying out. Oh, but you finished the them. You finished the ones you had. Yeah, I finished the ones that we had. Yeah, I've. Uh, I can't remember which ones it were now. Infinity Gauntlet. Stone. Yeah, Infinity Gauntlet, and the one before that, which was the Silver Surfer, and But yeah, I'll get back on them. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get, gotta get the wedding out of the way. <laughs> and then you can buy all the <laughs> Um uh, Yeah, but we should probably finish this because yeah. although I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be washing dishes. I'm just gonna be reading. Um, <laughs> but thanks so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you on Thursday. Yeah, all for much for now. Bye. Toodle pipski. <laughs>